7 News starts with breaking news. We've just obtained these photos showing the conditions inside a Denver home where four young children lived before being taken into protective custody. These photos taken more than a year ago, but the parents just now facing charges of neglect. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson always investigating. Molly, you're asking why it took so long for human services to take action. Yeah, these are the conditions that police found when they were called to the home in 2012. In their report, they note the unsanitary conditions, the clutter, even finding glass in one of the children's rooms. They said that they notified DHS, and despite the parents' history, the children were kept in the home. These photos show the dilapidated conditions inside the Sperling's apartment in 2012, when Wayne pled guilty to one charge of wrongs to minors. Records obtained by 7 News show police were called when his kids were seen hanging from this first floor window. Inside, police found broken glass on the floor, a stained and sheetless mattress, and dirt and clutter throughout the home. 7 News confirming the city attorney's office referred the case to DHS in May of 2012. By that time, Lorinda Bailey and Wayne Sperling had already racked up three charges of misdemeanor child abuse in 2006 and permanently lost custody of three of their children in 2009. But somehow, it seems, all the flags were ignored. It's very concerning that this has gone on as long as, as it has. Attorney David Littman has a law office across the street from the family. We've made several calls. He tells 7 News he called DHS multiple times as recently as this summer when Wayne Sperling was still on probation for that 2012 charge. But he doesn't know if a caseworker ever came by. The fact that conditions are reported as so deplorable suggests that social services failed to follow up. Social services wouldn't even acknowledge the case when we tried to get answers, but we've obtained records showing police were called out for welfare checks twice in 2007 and twice in 2012. And a source also confirming to us there is a paper trail at DHS that shows other allegations of negligence and abuse. That dates back to 2006. Reporting live, Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.